Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to trap an explosion using a regular kitchen strainer. Now this experiment can be dangerous, so don't try this at home. Now remember, in order to have fire, you need fuel, you need oxygen, and you need heat. For example, I have a propane torch here. I can turn on the gas and it doesn't light on fire. I have oxygen around me, I'm just missing heat. So once I apply heat to it, which I'm gonna do in the form of a spark here, then it should light. So here we go. So notice how right when I make the spark, the flame starts at the spark and then travels downward and upward away from it. It travels upward until the propane is exhausted. It doesn't have any more fuel. And it travels downward until it meets the location where the propane is coming out of the torch. So you can see the only reason it moved downward after the initial spark is the combustion gave it enough heat to continue downward. So it continually provided it enough heat to stay on fire. Well, what if there were a way to take away that heat? That would mean that the fire couldn't propagate downward. Well, one way to take away that heat is just to use a metal strainer like this. Metal conducts heat very quickly, and so it can easily pull away that heat and not let fire propagate downward. So that means that I could light the fire above this metal sifter here, and it wouldn't be able to propagate downward. There we go, look at that. So you can see the fire is burning above the strainer because there's enough heat above it. There's enough fuel, oxygen, and heat to keep it burning, but the heat can't propagate downward because the metal strainer is pulling away the heat from it quickly. And so it can't propagate downward at all. It can't burn below it, even though there's fuel and oxygen. So the flame is no longer attached to the torch. In fact, the torch isn't even hot. I can hold it with my fingers. I can even stick my finger in between the torch and the fire. Look at that, it's not hot. Now let's take it to the next step. If we can make fire float by containing it with a metal sifter, what if we used a rounded one like this? That would mean that if we had an explosion happen inside of it, the explosion couldn't get outward. The hot gases could expand, but it couldn't continue combusting outside of it because all of the heat gets pulled away by the metal sifter here. So the way I'm going to be doing this is by blowing bubbles of propane and then putting the strainer over it and blowing up those bubbles with a spark. And you'll see that the fire can't escape. Okay, three, two, one. See how the fire is completely contained within the strainer. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing and hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video comes out. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.